this video i am explaining how to draw the orthographic view from isometric view okay so in your screen you can see the isometric diagram so this diagram you have to convert it into orthographic right so first you have to observe this one diagram so all the dimension is given right and what is the rmf is showing should be considered as front view mention this is the part a part b and part c is looking for the front view so what is the dimension for the front view so vertical line should be 60 and horizontal line will be 125 and this dimension is given is 20 okay so each b and c is the height is 20 and width you can cancel this one so by using this dimension so this is 45 so remaining 125 minus 45 this is the dimension of width of c and b okay so this is the front view so what is the top view? So top view is looking from this side. So the part B is visible in the top view and parts E and part F. Okay. This is the visible part of the top view. Okay. And side view part G and part H. So this is the visible in the side. Okay. The front view is the A, B, C is visible from top view D, E, F is visible and the side view G and H is visible. So now how to draw for orthography. Okay. So, so initially you have to write the XY line HPVP. So we can see the diagram according to diagram you have to draw. You can see all our rectangle shape and uh, square shape. Okay. All our parallel lines, no curve lines. So definitely you can go for the rectangle command. So total dimension is. So here you can see the front view 60 and 125 okay you can write the total rectangle first okay in the front view okay you can go for top view or front view so i'll start from the front view okay so height is 60 right sorry width is 125 enter height is 60 so you can place it here in the extra line okay angle zero right so we'll take all the lines in the thickness of 0 0.5. Okay. So now we can see what is the cutting part A. What is the distance from high here? This is the 45. Correct. So you can see these two are parallels. Correct. So definitely you can go for an offset line. So I will go for the offset line here. Start from the first line distance of 45. Okay. It will appear like this. This is the distance of 45. Okay, and the dimension this is 60. That one is totally bottom line is 125. Okay, so you can see the shape of A, this L shape, correct? So you can see from bottom line to here, this is the distance is 20, and you can see A part is over, next C part, this is also 20, B part is 20. So totally 60 is there, you can divide it to 20, 20, 20. You can go for the offset command. So select the top line or bottom line, both you can select it. So 20, you can take it downwards two click you can do it like this okay so this is dimension you can keep it outside this one so dimension this one outside okay so i can go for the trim command you can trim this one you can trim this one okay so this is the part a you can look at this one part a is in l shape it is visible here part a and you can see part c and part b so this is the part B and this is part C. Okay. So we can go for the dark line. So all are visible. You can go for dark line. This is the front view of the orthographic view. Okay. So you can continue for the top view. Right. So you can project it. Lightly you can project like this. You can project like this. Okay. So what is the dimension for top view? So we are not taking the height here from the top view means here to here you have to take it. That is a part B. So height is 90 because 30, 30, 30. So if we count sum of 30s means it is coming 90 height. Okay. And the width will be 125. Okay. So you can go for the rectangle command. So width is 125. Height is 90 angle 0. Okay. You can place it like this. Okay. 
So you can dot this one, all the lines, make it 0 0.5. Okay. So after this, you can look at this one from the top view D. So it's a, like a shape of reverse L, correct? So here also 45 parallel line from here to here, that is 30. All are 30, 30, 30. You can go for the offset command. Offset command, choose it it's from here to here. So 45, place it like this. Okay. You can check the dimension. This is 45. So drag it outside the diagram always. Okay. So you can select the top line and go for the offset command. Okay. So type 30. Okay. Select the line, pick mark. 30, 30, four. So you can drag it this one outside. This is also you can drag outside. So what is the shape of the reverse L shape, correct? You can go for trim command and trim it, trim this one and trim this one. Okay, so this is showing the dimension line. So you can, if you delete this one, it will show us the neatly reverse shape L. That is it, this is the part D, okay? E, F, correct? This is the part D, this is the part E, this is the part F, okay? So top view and the front view. So I will dark this one for your visible part. Okay. So now you can go for the finally side view. What is visible in this side view? Part G and part H. So what is the dimension here? This is totally 90, this is 60, okay? You can come back for 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, okay? So height is individually that is 20 and width is 30, okay? So I can go for the X1, Y1 line. So X1, Y1. So you can write the 45 degree line here. You can project it automatically it will come, okay? So otherwise you can go for the rectangle command. Right. So width is 90, height is 60, angle 0. So you can place it like this. So we'll dark this one, all the lines. So you can project this one. You can see, so what is the part G? It's like a staircase, it will come like this. Height is 20, 30, 20, 30, 20, 30. So all our parallel lines are there. So you can go for the offset command. So width is, you can see width is individually that is 30 and 30, okay? Right? So you can drag it upwards. Outside the diagram, the dimension always. Okay? So both will show the dimension 30. So after this, so from the top, you can take the offset command. Or bottom you can take it. So here you can see if you project this one, 20 will come. If you project this one, 20, the earth will cut. Okay. So better you can choose the offset commands. Easily you can complete the diagram. Okay. okay. So we'll drag it this one outside. This is 20. This is 20. So what is the shape of G? What is the shape of H? Okay. So G, it will be like this. H will be like this. Correct. So you can go for trim command. Okay, so what need to trim here inside the diagram or oh, everything you have to trim it. Okay, so it will come like this and here you can trim, here it will trim. Okay, so this is the shape of G and H. Okay, so this is the dimension line is showing here. So delete this one for the dimension. Okay, so what is remain here? Trim it, you can trim this one. So you can trim it. So this is the dimension part, this is the part of F and G, that is the side. So this completes the diagram. If you want, you can go for the dimension, this is 60 and this is 90. So individually you can go for this is 20 and this is also 20. Okay, this is 30 and this is also 30. 